Hey folks, Whip here, and welcome back to Empire's SMP. We are here for episode number two after we built up this amazing starter house behind us. Thank you all so very much for the support on the last episode. If you are enjoying, please be sure to click that like button down below. Again, my friends, I really do appreciate it. Today is all about getting geared up and getting apparently caught up because I started watching everybody else's first episodes that went out, which by the way, if you want to check out anybody else who is a part of the series, their channels are all linked down in the description below. So please be sure to go drop some subs everybody here it's gonna be an absolutely amazing series so today uh we're starting off by harvesting a bunch of crops because uh that's how we get more powerful right the more seeds we have the, the higher our power level is i think something like that but no in reality the reason for the seeds is uh farmer flip is coming around today my friends there's a few people on the server right now and i want to see if we can make some early game trades and maybe get some ious that's really what i'm on the lookout for here if we can see if anybody else is struggling with getting food supplies or anything like that, we can uh, gift them some food with a for a favor later on in the series. But also in the last episode, we were able to acquire enough leather and enough paper in order to make an entire enchanting setup for ourselves. So I want to get that thing set up here very, very quickly. In between episodes, I have completely worked through this diamond pickaxe and actually decorated out a good amount of the house down here. So we've got a very simple just gathering area, front door, a nice couch to sit on, a nice rug and everything everything which is going to be now leading to a basement which I've decided to add on so we'll work on that thing here in a little bit then over here we've got the kitchen that I already set up before and we've got a few little extra decorations around that I am absolutely loving we've got a nice little bedroom going on and I love my bed when we fall asleep we can look at all the amethyst crystals in the ceiling it's like nice little night lights you know Everybody remember when we were kids had those little glow in the dark stickers that you'd put on your ceiling of all the stars and the solar systems and stuff. Yeah, that that's that's what we got up there, of course. Getting the final starter chores aside, we can gather up the rest of the sugar cane here and it is going to be enchanting time. I am on the lookout right now. I think honestly, I want silk touch the most because there are some builds that I really want to use regular deep slate for and the deep slate redstone ore. those are going to be very vital. Do a lot of things that we're building around here. I know redstone, deep slide ore. Yeah, that's going to be a pain in the butt to gather. But, ooh, folks, I'm telling you, the plan I have for this empire, kingdom, whatever we're calling it, is going to be great. Let's just make three stacks of paper over here, and we can make as many books as possible. We've got ourselves an enchanter. Oh, that's amazing. And look how much wood I've been gathering between episodes. <laughs> so we've got this nice upper layer, and I'm thinking we go bookshelves right along here. We blop the enchanter right in the middle there. We do uh, bookshelves right here. And what level does that give us? That gives us level 18. There we have it, level 30 enchantments ready to rock. And that is efficiency four down there. This diamond pickaxe is almost broken. Let's make a new one. I only have three diamonds left though. So we've got to go do some more mining. These are my final diamonds. We do have the ones that I uh, tried to harvest with gold last episode, but ignoring that, we can move up here and see what we've got. Oh, that's a pretty good pick. What would the next one roll? Efficiency three. Okay, okay, I can take that. I can take that. Well, that's fine. Now, last time we did acquire a moss block, which I absolutely love. And a lot of y'all mentioned that all we need to do is take some bone meal, run outside all the way over to where we have a bunch of dirt, place the moss block down, right like so, and bone meal that guy. Ooh, I do like that. I do like that. And we got some uh, mossy carpets. We got some azalea bushes. Oh, it's beautiful. Lovely flowering stuff aside, it's time to put the new pickaxe to work. I've got the staircase down here, and I just want to clear out a good amount of space for us to work with. I'll be honest here, folks. My plan is to not have farmland everywhere like we have it above ground right now. I really don't want to do that because that's something that we're actively doing inside of my hardcore world right now. So I want to go for a very different vibe here. So that's all pretty much temporary stuff. This down here should be plenty enough space for ourselves to get a pretty cool basement area set up. We got a doorway leading out over here that right now is just going down into some mines that I I've been using quite a lot so that is absolutely awesome i gotta get a new way to get ourselves down into some strip mining areas but i'm kind of liking the idea of going with like a crazy alchemist type role on the server to get ourselves started i think that'd be kind of fun because my eventual goal as we've mentioned many a times is this whole ooh doors open and it's nighttime let's go sleep in our fancy little bed over here oh my night lights the way the trade system is going to be working inside of this server here is everybody has the ability to more or less claim a resource and become the primary importer or exporter of that resource across the world and i thought it'd be really fun to get my hands on tnt and things like that really early because uh, as we're going to war you know eventually wars will be happening that's probably a pretty good thing to be the supplier of <laughs> i guess we're going flip the weapons dealer 
But as TNT is a little bit hard to get a hold of as we are very early game at this point, I figured the first step along those lines, let's get some andesite down there, would be to kind of be the crazy potion guy. I don't know why that seems like a fun route to go, just tossing potions all over the place and doing everything like that. So I want to turn this area down here into a little bit of an apothecary or like a brewery section. We do have to go to the nether and get a lot of potion brewery things, but we can at least set it up for now. Adding these final little barrels in down here should do it for our little bit of a room we've got going on. And I'm super excited to be able to build this area out. We need to get a lot more brewing stands rocking. We've got this guy over here. We can expand these off into different little farming areas where we can get all the different goods. We've got some azaleas in the corner. I believe we're at about that point in time of every single Minecraft survival world where it just needs to get, I just got to get the grind on my friends. I think it's time that we run on down into the mines and see about how much stuff we can get done with mining and how many ore veins and things like that we can reveal i'm gonna try and not gather up too many of them probably just grab some coal seeing as uh that's all that i got left here and we got to make a lot of torches to be able to do this but if we wait until we get fortune three then we can really capitalize on a lot of the iron gains and everything like that so without any further ado my friends kicking this off into a nice old montage So that was a big bummer that uh, we died to a creeper while trying to mine and do all that type of stuff. Did not really see it coming, and I'm so glad I transitioned out of that. Holy cow, check this out. We've got a villager breeder working over here. I hope it's working. I haven't really let it sit for too long. Literally just finished it up. I think I need to get some more glass, but they should be able to distribute the crops between the two of them. We got the farmer boy in the back there, and they'll all be flowing down that way. Picking up here, and we should hopefully soon see a few baby villagers hanging out in that spot. We'll have to be very careful to make sure we're not causing too much lag with this thing. We were able to get a lot more iron and everything, though, and a lot more copper, too, which is going to be super sweet. The 37 diamonds, though, is huge. I'm still looking for Fortune 3. We got Fortune 2 on the stuff in here, so that's absolutely awesome. But we can make a whole set of diamond armor if we wanted to. It took so long to get the villagers set up and actually back here so they could do something that the dripstone farm has actually grown so much of the stuff down here so we can actually expand it a good more. I know stonemasons now have the ability to trade the block above there, but I really want the spikes because I want to do a lot of rocky landscapes around this area. And I just found out sausage actually has a silk touch villager trade. So I think I might be collecting up a little bit more sugarcane and running over there and see if we can't get a silk touch book. I'm gonna see if we can't convince him here with a little bit of the spruce action for a trade over there because I know he loves this stuff but where's the rest of my paper well there it is that is a giant oh my gosh he is already ready for battle holy cow okay well he somebody over here is ready for war maybe we want him to be on our good side after a last episode I think we gotta regain some reputation boy hello good sir we can show that we're friendly see friendly we're we're friendly friendly yes 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 oh are they oh they're the prisoners in here Okay, um, how do we see inside now? <laughs> okay, so that's how you get inside for now. Got it. Okay, what do you trade? You trade Silk Touch. 17 emeralds. I don't think I have enough paper. No. Oh, God. Okay, that's awkward. That's very awkward. Okay, we're gonna see if we I can trade for some emeralds here, because we really need that. 12 for mending, though. How? This dude's already got mending. Holy cow. Okay. Oh, he has decorated everything in here. Oh, this looks so nice. Oh, very cool. Very cool. There we go. We're up to 18 emeralds now. We can get the Silk Touch trade. That's gonna be amazing, so we can get a Silk Touch book. Here, have, have, have gift. Have gift. Oh, I just leveled him up and now he trades glass. Let's pick up a little bit of that too. I need some for the, <laughs> I need it for the villager breeder back at home. 
Of course, now of all times, Fortune 3 is up for a level 30 enchantment <laughs> on the table. Oh, I was going to put a really bad enchantment on the pickaxe first and then just throw something else. But oh, I think I got to leave that for now. Let's uh, let's just throw Silk Touch for now and work on getting back up to level 30. That's that's the goal. But we're there. We got Silk Touch. We're back down to level 14. Coming down here underground, I need a lot of the regular deep slate. But more importantly, there are quite a few that I've been leaving around here. I just got to find them again. These guys. The Deep Slate Redstone Ore, as well as the Deep Slate Lapis, I think is going to be awesome to have here too. And now I've heard Pixarifs is a little addicted to these things here, so if we can Silk Touch those and take them with us, we might be able to have some leverage with them. Oh my gosh, I went underground and it looks like we have an entire abandoned mine shaft down here, so that's going to be a little intense and I'm out of torches. No, I have a lot of wood that I meant to trade to Sausage, but he liked the Dripstone instead. I'm not very well equipped right now to be tackling an entire mine shaft, so I think we'll hold off on that one for now, but what I can do is get all of this redstone ore. I really need to bring some shears down here and pick up a little bit of that glow lichen so we can take it back. Apparently you can bone meal it and grow it on everything around it, which could be absolutely awesome to have. It's such a beautiful little block. Everybody, Operation Farmer Whip is back on the table here. Pixel Riffs just reached out saying he's a hungry boy and he needs some food. And well, check this out right here. I've got potatoes a cooking. We got four stacks of potatoes in here that are cooking away. Win for all these to be ready. And we're going to be headed out to the desert uh, on the other side of the world. It's going to be a long journey. Oh, uh, who's that in the distance? There he is. Hello. <laughs> Farmer Hi. Flip Food Delivery. How we oh, doing? Man. Hey, good to see you. And you, you fit right in here, actually. Like, both the hair and the hoodie match the aesthetic of what oh, I've got yeah. going on around here. Yeah, you just out. really... Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm just over here. It's, uh, yeah, it's perfect. I... What... What is... Oh, this one just changed. Look at this. Yes. Magic. Uh -huh. it, Yes, uh, I've been learning the uh, the mystical secrets of copper out here, and uh, there's there's a lot to learn. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's been it's been quite a trip. Uh, so so welcome to welcome to my copper field. Um, <laughs> I call him David, and this is like yeah, this is my project right now. Um, I see. I, have... I see why you reached out for food because I don't think you can eat this, as far as I understand. Not so much, no. And even okay. the bees haven't really been providing me with adequate oh. food. Like. I I want to set up a honey farm at some point, but c come and take a look at this. This is what I built in, in this episode. It's it's so fun. If you walk into this, like at dawn, you hear all of the noises of them popping out of the hives, and it is oh God. so Ooh. funny. Oh, you have glowberries. <gasps> I do, oh yes. Uh, oh, another food. Oh, stuff, you can climb again, this. Oh, very nice. Yes, you can. You can. You can climb the vines. I see you holding some baked potatoes in your hand. That seems I, a little I bit am. more like my kind of my got, kind of I got diet. these. I got these. I got. Ah. I got this. <laughs> I got a, and got a I got that. Woo, <laughs> and, <I'm> now, <laughs> and now he and now he runs off with my freshly yeah. farmed produce. I see how it is, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm just no, gonna we, hold we, on to this little guy over here. It's fine. We were talking a little bit, and uh, we figured out a deal. We were thinking, uh, I, you could. I, I've got a, I've got a, a little bit of something you've been you've been struggling to get hold of, yeah. and uh, mm -hmm. you have food, which I kind of need to survive. So yeah. let's cut so, a deal. Yeah, it's a win-win here. So I brought quite a few stacks of baked potatoes on me and uh -huh. i heard you had the ways of the fortune three i have been... oh i do all of the copper out there was mined using fortune three i've had fortune three since like day one yeah yeah i'm pretty jealous of that oh scary <laughs> yeah um you, you might might not want to step on that right away um so uh, yeah, uh, just... fortune. yes yes please yes 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 Yes, uh, I have one Fortune Three book. If you have some uh, some potatoes, this I got is, I got some is... potatoes right there. There's two stacks. How many stacks do you think? And how many stacks of food do you want? Um, I'm thinking it's it's Fortune Three, so I'm thinking three stacks. I think that'll last me for three a while. Stacks. Okay, uh, okay. Until I can uh, I can figure out whatever the uh, the food Fifth situation is around here. But that is 100% uh, organically farmed a villager provided Fortune Three Ooh, book. I appreciate yours. it. Thank you very much. You know what? For uh, for the glowberry as well, here's another half stack for you. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I just uh, just yeah, I'm just going. Hey, yeah, and that's a half stack of glorious, freshly produced, freshly baked potatoes right there. I gotta say, it does smell very good. Mm -hmm. It's got like just that, pulled that... out of the oven and walked thousands of blocks every year. So you know, <laughs> hot, hot off the grill. 
I think if we're going to build a road to everybody else's base, I feel like ours is going to have to be some kind of like, you know, freeway. <laughs> that goes we, yeah, we got it. It's going to be like the Copper Road or something like that. The, oh, yeah, absolutely. Or the for, the Fortune 3 Road, you know, not that there's any other famous <laughs> roads that might work with other enchantment names, but, you know. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I think Sausage has probably got the Silk Touch Road locked up already. Back over at the house, finally, after a very long journey from the desert here. And oh my gosh, I'm getting ready for a build, my friends. And Lizzie also stopped by to grab some grass blocks seeing as we have the silk touch and she lives in the middle of the ocean so helped her out there a little bit with that one and she gave me a stack of honeycomb which is absolutely awesome but my friends where it is time to take ourselves to the next level with this base transformation around here is one thing that i really wanted to do is i want this environment to feel unique compared to the rest of the world I don't want to just be living in a planes bomb anymore as we move throughout doing everything around here. So I was thinking we can turn it into a corrupted area. I thought it would be so absolutely fun to do. We're still going to have a few little plants around here because I cannot, I can't not have bushes placed around my builds and everything like that. So you just got to bear with me on it. But we've got the dripstone. I've got a bunch of tough blocks. We've got that deep slate redstone ore, which I gathered up, which is amazing. The plan is to create what kind of uh, Minecraft is calling the deep dark, but doing that in the overworld all the way up here. And if we take a block gradient, something right like a this... And we can stretch from having the cobblestone into the tough, into the deep slate with the top texture, and then we have the side texture, and then we have regular cobbled deep slate over here. I think we can make something really absolutely amazing. And then also filling in a bunch of the power sources that we can have inside of it with this redstone ore in there, I think is gonna be absolutely awesome. Craft up some red stained glass as well too, so we can have a little bit of action like that as a mystical feel around it. So I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time getting one of these spikes developed around us and uh, we will uh, see what happens with this because I got no idea, except I know I wanna do it. There we have something. The sun is setting now because I've let a lot of grow lichen come. Okay, uh, we're down in a bit. I gathered up a lot of grow lichen, as I was saying, and I wanted to see how the glow looks on this entire thing. It should be super duper cool. I want to be very subtle and not like a bright light. Just, you know, something that's just got a little bit more life to it than just being a dark pillar coming up out of the ground. And I think it's really doing that. I am very excited about adding more of these all over the place. Instead of trees, really, the plan is to have this sort of a thing all over. I've got to figure out a way to break it up from the roof so it's not all quite the same. Just deep slight everywhere that we have there, 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 blah, 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 all over the place. But oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, it's so good. Okay. That's, that is a success. I call that a success right here. What I've got going over here though, is I grew up an azalea tree and I wanted to verify if you can actually get the azalea bushes themselves and it looks like you can. Sweet, those just drop as saplings, love it. The plan was to gather up a few more of those and decorate this area out just a touch because I want to have a little bit of the life and foliage outside of the rings of where we have these big dead things, but we'll see how that goes. Next up, I'm thinking it's time to craft up a little bit of diamond armor over here as I almost died to a creeper again when I was trying to go get the glow lichen underground. And so we've got all of these things in here. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Cover me with diamonds. Yes, yes, yes. And I think we need a new diamond shovel here too. Goodbye, tarnished iron armor. Hello, full diamond armor. This armor served us well, it got me killed, but you know, it still served us well. So let's put the old iron armor in the bedroom. We can have another shiny thing to look at while we're staring at our amethyst and sleeping. Now this diamond armor is coming very handy as the next thing I want to do is get some more experience so we can actually get some enchanted gear rocking because right now uh, we're level 11 and we need a lot. And I figured the easiest way to get some experience, at least early game, since not many people have went to the nether yet, is to go to the nether and mine some quartz. And we have fortune three, which means we can get a lot of quartz. This is the point of death right here where the creeper killed us. Okay, uh, let's make sure nobody's gonna drop down from up above. We do have diamond armor now, so maybe we'll survive it. I don't know. Now, for the sake of no spies being able to jump out of my nether portal and end up inside of my house, I think we're gonna position it a little bit farther away for ourselves and I'll build something cool for it later on. But for now, we just need a way into the nether. That should do it for us. Going big on the nether portal over here. Gotta make them even. Look at that. Love it. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's no quartz in this biome. Oh, gosh. Is this even our exit? Or did we link up to somebody else's? Yep, we are at ours. Okay, that's good. I was worried we might link up to gems since we're fairly close to her. 
I am not seeing a way out of this basalt delta right now. I've tried breaking through that way, and we are completely floating above an absolutely stupidly massive lava lake. Nothing to knock me off. Okay, look down there. That's lava all the way down there. There's no land anywhere. Maybe it's through the fog. I can't tell at all. So um, we're going to try and head off that direction and see what we can do here and hopefully get to actually something substantial. But it's... Ah, uh, this is the worst nether spawn I think I've ever seen. Oh, yep, yeah, more death, more death. Oh, is that gems portal? Wait, what way are we looking? South? That is... Oh, her dog's on the inside. Let's, let's... You know what? Reconnaissance mission. We are saving the dog from the nether. I don't know if it's supposed to be there or not. Actually, are we? I don't know if we are. Is there a way I can get down here? <laughs> Is that her dog? I can't tell. It's either an untamed dog or it's a regular dog, but there's also a cow. Uh, she might have access to something that is not this biome. Oh, I don't think I can make that leap. It's about a 16 block drop, so we could survive it if we need to, but I think we're gonna go around that way. There it is. I can see the quartz. That's all I want. You know what? If we want to build with basalt or blackstone, which will work really well for our base, we have as much of it as we could ever possibly need. <laughs> Literally as much as we could need. I'm going to get this in hand, though. I think that might be helpful. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. One day this fire might go out. Oh, it did. One day. The first quartz. There it is. Please tell me it was worth it. Okay, okay. Full level, full level. Worth it, worth it. I like it. Ah, time to gather up a lot of quartz. It appears we have pacified the ghast. He has run out of fireballs and is just hanging up there. And I think that is the last biome right over there that we might need to walk into. That is about to be the smallest warp force biome I've ever seen, though. But come on, Mr. Gas. Come on, buddy. Is this a warp for us? Like, what, what is this? How is that the warp stuff down in here? Is that spawned randomly inside the crimson ones? Gonna quickly get out of here, though, before we meet some unfortunate neighbors. Oh, hi. This dude really does not mind us at all. All right, well, I think our way home is right up there by the torch, and I am ready to get out of the nether. Level 34 from, what, level 14 or something stupid like that? Oh, I've been in here way too long. Finally, back at base, and we've got so much basalt that we can start working with and some blackstone for these new spikes for some builds around the area. And I wanted to see, I've actually never compared these blocks to each other. Blackstone and compare, berry bush, uh, compare some of that, a lot darker. Okay, basalt though, <gasps> that could be a perfect match. Oh, that's gonna be so fun to work with. We also now have the smooth basalt stuff, which is gonna be great. And I did bring home a few more mushrooms for ourselves so we can regrow all of those trees as we want to. And I definitely need a bigger storage room here soon. But first up at the enchanter i would love to see if we can't get some better diamond boots with feather falling maybe i will try this right now unbreaking three all those levels worth nothing probably blast protection four could be huge against creepers though what are we looking at here fortune two don't really care about that the sword is going to be picking up bane of arthropods yet yeah, let's just get that blast protection that sounds like a great way to go and that's all it is of course well uh, we're level 28. We can do some enchanting again later. But while we were in the nether, my friends, I was able to meet up with Joel as I caught him online. And uh, Farmer Whip was back in action, my friends. So let's cut over to that clip. Whip. Hello, Joel. I, I heard you are also... Oh, ooh, look fancy, fancy. Look at... Oh, Thank ooh. you. Thank ooo. you. What, Thank you. That? Yeah, nice fancy shield there, too. Are you Don't the... look too close to the shield. <laughs> look at the banner over here instead. <laughs> look how much nicer it looks, Whip. Are you the pumpkin melon king? Or uh, what's the vibe going on over here? All right, putting away the shield. Um, <laughs> no, this look, this is me. I've put my little title here so far. I'm hoping King to King of Mazalia, Slayer of Horses, Ruler of Jeremy. So that's actually, I heard you were also a uh, collector of, of these. I figured we could like show off each other's col our collections with each other, you know, kind of nerd out over it and all that. The horse heads? The yeah, horse heads? You, you, yeah. Oh, you, you got, got a white one. Yeah. I've only got black and brown ones so far. As you can see, I've been placing them around my base on oh, display. I see. I see. Yeah, here, here. Look, look at all these guys. I got this one. I got this Ooh. one. I got that one, I got that oh my one, gosh. and I got that one. Oh, these are beautiful. Whip. Aren't they? What do I have to do to get one of these? What do I have to do to get one of these? You know, I have two of the white ones. Hey, mm. As a token of good faith to the, what was it, king of uh, Mazalia. Do you want, yeah. you, can, you can keep the white one. I, I will have to keep the other ones though, but you can, if you would like the white one, oh. you can have it. So, uh, so what brings you to the kingdom of Mazalia, Whip? So I have I know we're early on in the server here. It looks like you've done a lot of work around here, though. Quite beautiful, quite beautiful. But I figured Thank I you. could uh, assist in a few things that uh, I'm all, being all farmer flip right now. And uh, Ooh. I have I have potatoes if you have wares. I, I've already got potatoes, but... But I have you... baked potatoes. 
I heard that you gave Lizzie some grass. I I did. I have. Do you silk... have any grass on you? I do not. I have silk touch okay. bag at home. I didn't even bring that pickaxe with me. What what? So so what do you want though, Fripp? You've got these potatoes. What I'm just kind of going around offering things. I was I was looking for some enchanted stuff because I went up to Pixarifs. He gave me a Fortune three book for some potatoes. Sausage gave right. me some silk touch for some potatoes. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to feed the people, man. Just feed everybody. How about a food for food to trade? Do you have any of these? I, I, ooh, I have a few of those. I, I do have a few of those. Those are okay. quite nice. I, I don't really have a lot of stuff, to be honest, Rip. You could have a look through the chest yeah, if you yeah, want. Ooh, you have yeah, a name you tag. How about poor. that? Oh, man. What? You know what? You, you know what? Uh, another, you know, the white horse head and everything. Here you go. Just feed yourself, please. Don't, don't die on me, okay, Joel? Like last time. I'll miss you. This is kind of, this is, feels kind of insulting. Are you, you're disrespecting the Mazalia kingdom right here. We, we are not poor. We are, we may not be rich in wealth, but we are rich in love. <laughs> Spirit, okay? love, pumpkins yes. and melons. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you know, it's oh, see, potato. there's a good potato there, huh? To be fair, I just brought all these cows here, so I did need food, but I, I, I will use this. I'll use this when I'm okay. building my mind. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm sure you very excited. Name tag? I, I, I mean, I, I'll always take a name tag. There you go. Have a name tag. Oh, there thanks. we go. We've done a trade yeah. now. There you go. Here you go. There. Oh my gosh. How many potatoes do you have on you? Are you crazy? Uh, I, I brought you two stacks. I'm, I'm, I'm just surviving. trying to make sure everybody survives right now until okay. wars break out and everything. I see. I think your border might be the closest to uh, somebody that I'm, I've am i heard uh, was threatening to murder their own pet parrot. And I, oh, I'm just worried for you, Joel. Dead for it. Oh, it's oh. gone. Oh. Yeah. Barbecued alive. It's all right, though. I, I, she is my wife, so if she does strike war, um, I will just divorce her. No, oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it doesn't come to that. I, I hope it doesn't come. On the way back home, I was able to tame up this lovely little parrot buddy right over here. So we've got a brand new subject inside of our kingdom here. Our empire, we've got three wolves and a parrot. Yep, I'm not lonely anymore. Wait, I forgot about all these guys I have trapped down here in a box. Yeah, look at all the subject. I'm so kind to my people. We got four of them in there now, and we've got uh, the two farmers over there. And they were starting to grow wheat somehow. And uh, it looks like I got rid of all the seeds. So that is all good. Here's our underground glowberry operation that I need to keep expanding upon, but it's looking pretty good so far. We've got to really get a lot more bone meal down here to grow it all up. But that, my friends, is all I've got time for on today's episode. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all are excited for Empire's SMP here still. Let me know any name ideas you have for my kingdom over here. I'm very much looking forward to seeing all the suggestions. And I got to come up with a banner design here too. So maybe we got a name first and then we tackle that one. But thank you again so very much for watching. Click that like button down below if you did enjoy. I have brand new merch that is linked down in the description if you want to be checking that stuff out there as well, my friends. And be sure to click that subscribe button if you are brand new. Plenty of amazing things coming here to the series that you don't want to be missing out on. But with that, my friends, I will catch you on the flip side.